Hello Nuggets, it's your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance and I do hope you all are doing well. Happy birthday Sagittarius, happy birthday. Um, yeah, I, get, ha, I hope everybody is doing well. We just gonna get all into this because yeah. So um, any information you need is in the description box. Let's go. Channeled songs. I've been listening to this in my head all day long. It was the first song I heard this morning when I opened my eyes. You by Raheem Devon. And it's like heavy. Like I listen to other songs today. But this song keeps coming up. It has been coming up in channel messages for a while. So from that, I am getting, yes, the meaning of the song as he intended. You know, it's all about you, the you know object of his affection, his significant other, yes. But I am also taking that to mean it is about you. You are um, your most important commodity. You, as a person, exactly as you are. No extras, no, no whatever. No, none of that extra stuff that we put on. Um to quote unquote enhance ourselves none of that everything is you know down to its bare bones completely naked you as you are that is you know your physical your mental your spiritual your emotional you at your core are fantastic because you are here you are divinely created so there is nothing more that you could do to or for yourself to make you any better just being you as you are okay so those two messages there um the second song is celine dion the power of love now First and foremost, that lady can blow. I don't care what nobody say. Celine Dion can, I mean, she is a powerhouse. She can sing. And you can tell that it comes from her inside, from her soul, from her heart. So, um, hope y'all can't hear that TV in there. But if you can, my apologies. Um, the power of love there is nothing like it when you love and you love from your core from your heart from your spirit from your soul from your entire being you can do anything i'm hearing her other song love can move mountains when you love there is no obstacle that would keep you from um caring for nurturing giving to protecting the object of your love and your affection. Okay? So love is a very powerful thing. Um, love, you know, can sail a thousand ships. Okay? So love is a very, very moving, very moving and very powerful thing. And when you use your words in a loving manner, you can shift and move the atmosphere so i'm getting a lot of inner self-love absolutely but i'm also getting that inner self-love radiating out and other people can feel and see that on you and then they can feel it coming from you all right and we all know what love is love is divine love is god Love is everything, okay? So when 
someone sees love in you, they see God in you. Continue to emanate that from your core. All right? All right. That was fantastic. I enjoyed it. All right. We're going to pull some cards today. TT Music Oracles, we're going to pull some cards today. So let's see. Let's see what message we got for today. <sighs> I don't know about y'all, but my heart here lately has been feeling very full. Very full. Um, and it is, in truth and honesty, it has been nothing but connecting with God and just seeing how much God loves me. And if God loves me that much, and I love myself that much, everything else on top of that is gravy. All right, so we have um, Baby I'm Yours by Shy. Uh, Never Knew Love Like This by Alexander O'Neill and Sherelle. I Belong to You by Lenny Kravitz and Under the Deck Motivation by T.I. There is a lot of masculine energy up in here. Wow. And I don't know about y'all, but to me, Lenny Kravitz and he, he kind of gives me the, the same vibe that Prince rest his soul the same vibe that prince gave just he is it's cool but um, prince was something all together something otherworldly but lenny kravis oozes this this confidence and this sexiness and this just straight up just chill and cool kind of vibe and that's this this being the last card is, is something that really, um, it feels like a, a, a transition of going from being in this group of people, group of friends, group of what have you, as in shy, to Alexander O'Neill being with uh, Sherelle, but then going, uh, be actually being solo, and him having gone through the trials and tribulations of his life, and um, having you know his issues and battles with um, addictions and things like that, to this being that is Lenny Kravitz. Um, and just uh, there's a, that other thing of you giving and devoting to another person, another being, another energy. This does not, I repeat, this does not have to be romantic. Take the, the romance part off of it. This could be you devoting yourself to yourself and falling in love with yourself after having gone from um, being in a group of people and you know all of that energy um, as you know it could be from a family dynamic and you pulling yourself back and because you've you know gone through some stuff that whole dark night of the soul thing and then transitioning into this higher being that is confident and beautiful and um, on a different level. And then with motivation by T.I. being, you know, the root, being under the deck, it is anybody who knows me knows that this song is definitely something that has brought me through a lot and it's not just you know i'm not not super big on rap and trap music and stuff like that but there are certain instances and motivation does that for me um 
there's been a struggle, been a fight, been something that you've had to go through and you had to put on straight up armor and is it's it it took a whole lot of taking what was given to you by the outside world the raw materials from the outside world the hate the world and society and just being itself and taking that and allowing that to motivate you to go through everything that you've gone through on your own pulling back um, allowing yourself to you know be separated especially when you are um, especially when you're you're a person that's called to something higher called to something more feel drawn to something more you pull yourself back from the crowd from um, from your family for some you have to withdraw yourself from your family or this is what you're going through or what you will be going through here in the next couple of days next couple of weeks for some it's you know this transition takes years but wherever you are on this journey you've pulled yourself back in order to collect yourself to strengthen yourself God only separates us when it is time for us to lean on him, her, creator. And find that strength within ourselves to go forward. Just adulting is hard. I was just thinking this earlier when I was walking in the door and was going through a moment adulting is hard and everybody is not able to do it i don't care if you are legally considered an adult actually being mature and handling your shit is not easy and everyone cannot do it everyone does not want to do it because it's hard especially the part of adulting where you have to look at yourself and take accountability for your own actions not pointing the finger at other people not projecting yourself onto other people and they're you know taking your 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 shit whatever that is taking your experiences and your hurt and your pain and projecting that onto people i'm not just talking to you all i'm talking to me too because i am talking about me it took me a long time to to get to that point where i was not projecting my fears onto others projecting what i thought onto others and it, that that's that looking at yourself part that part where you have to look at yourself and and really check yourself and that's not easy that part of being an adult and being responsible and being whole and being healed is not easy everybody can't do it because not everybody chooses to do it that is a choice to go through that looking at yourself and examining yourself and seeing where you need to pull your coattail instead of looking at other people and pointing the finger at them and telling them what they need to do everybody's life is their own everybody's life is their own but that that you you it's a choice to evolve and move forward it is a choice to be healed and whole and to be a living breathing moving example of what it takes to you know get to the place of success that is for you what other people think of as success does not have to be what you think of as success in all honesty for a long time if i made it through the day i counted that as a success for me because there were days where I did not want to be here. Real talk. And if I got to 5 or 6 o'clock in the evening, I would say, okay, God, I'm okay. Thank you. 
that's not I didn't have to you know worry anymore about phone calls and having to do this and having to work and having to do that I got it to got to five or six o'clock in the evening I felt like I could breathe I felt like a weight was lifted off of me and if I made it through the next through to the next day it's like okay God here we go help me get through sometimes that is a success and if that is all you do god bless you and i'm glad you're still here but that those those things of making a choice every single day to find something within you to keep you pushing forward to motivate you taking you know the stuff of the outside world and instead of internalizing it using it as a stepping stool a stepping stone and then allowing it to grow you that's adulting that's called healing that's called handling your shit again not everybody can do that so what I am looking at here is that has been done or that is being done. Going from um, being in this collective, being a part of, you know, the matrix. We get a Neo for a second. Being a part of the matrix, being a part of the 3D world and, you know, the collective and everything and everybody around you to this place and space where you get by yourself and you know you go through your own personal hell of living life and things getting you down and things coming at you and just that whole that whole life experience thing and then getting to the place and space where you sit with yourself and you take on your own shit and deal with it one thing at a time it's overwhelming it's overwhelming and you know it takes us all down different roads it does life takes us down different roads and we choose how we deal with those things Either we look at them and deal with them head on or, you know, we rinse and repeat and get back on that wheel, that hamster wheel again and have to, you know, redo that cycle once more. But it does not mean that, you know, you're a bad person. You're It doesn't make you any less of a you know person deserving of whatever it is in this world that you want it just means that you have to deal with that cycle one more time in order for you to get it and be able to move on and then when you do then when you do the level of understanding that you gain to just surrender and allow divine to take you where it is that you are desiring to be you take your hands off of it and just trust and believe and have faith that the world can be a beautiful place you can create the wonder and the beauty that you want it is just you releasing the need to control but still being motivated to manifest and move forward that's a wonderful thing and I thought I was going to pull some more cards than that but um, this right here is satisfying and enough for me I've been doing a lot of that intuitive um, intuitive um, messages so I think we gonna I'm gonna light this Palo Santos really quick and clear up some more of this energy but yeah that's beautiful guys that's beautiful it is truly a beautiful thing you know I like I said adulting is not easy 
and just because you are of adult age does not mean that you know people people are handling it well not everybody is able to you know to take on this this thing called life and um handle it in a way that is healing and healthy for those around them and for themselves we beat up on ourselves more than other than the world beats up on us real talk we put more expectations and more judgment on ourselves than the people around us now that doesn't mean that the people around us um, don't do things that um, add to that frustration but it is also you know who you allow yourself to be around who you allow into your energy and what you how healed you are to what you accept you don't have to accept nobody's word about nothing I when I tell y'all walk around rebuking stuff all day long no matter what it is, no matter who it is, I'll say nope in a heartbeat. Somebody saying something that I don't necessarily agree with and they call themselves projecting that and speaking that over my life, nope, no thank you. I don't ascribe to that, not for me. Now, sometimes that that just that amount of rebuke and rejection of that energy works. Other times, you just got to straight up say, no, I rebuke you. I do not accept that for my life, and I will not allow you to speak that over me. Now, that'll catch person off guard real quick. But you have the right to do so. You have the right to speak words over yourself, and you have the right to accept or deny what people speak over you. So... Let them call you whatever they want to, but you don't have to accept it. You never have to accept it. Unless they're speaking some something light and love and positive. Or they're speaking something into your spirit that you need to grow. Now, of course, you know, walk, don't walk around rebuking everybody because sometimes they're speaking truth to you. Something that you're not seeing, that you're not discerning for yourself. But if it, it it depends on who who the source is that is coming from for one, and their intention behind it, because not everybody that speaks the quote unquote truth to you is speaking it with the intention of helping you to grow. Some people are speaking things in in order to shrink your soul. It is completely up to you how you take that, and again. Like I said, hey, you can walk around all day long rebuking any and everything. Rebuke a commercial, baby. Real talk. Because that's still energy being sent out. All right. I'm going to leave it there. I love y'all. I love you very much. I love you from my soul. And I send you all blessings and light. Take care.